opened Google Chrome, searched for PV Pope, went on rankings, Ultra League Premier Cup, found the best leader and the best safe switch and the best closer. See, sneak the shadow. Number two, cool. Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Ultra Premier Cup. We are having quite some fun here with a team that you have already seen how I decided to build it up. Uh, what a great introduction that was. And we're gonna have a very bad lead on the face of Taloflame. However, coming in with the Wallrun is gonna be our main priority here. We decided to take uh, one shield out of the Taloflame and one more out of the Granbull because they have to block trainers. Otherwise, they're gonna go down to multiple of those Icicle Spears. Down goes the second shield and that is looking pretty promising for our Staraptor. We have to see now what they have as their third Pokemon, but uh, to be honest I'm expecting either something like a Wolverine or a Swampert, because with Town of Flame those two uh, perform pretty well. Even something like uh, a Trevenant could make sense to be honest, but they have a Swampert, things are looking pretty cool right now for me, because not only we have the shield advantage, but also we have flipped around that bad lead scenario, especially with uh, Town of Flame. Uh, uh, being uh, not that good against my Staraptor, especially with energy and they have no shields at all. So I'm just gonna overfarm here up to the CMP point. I know that they need uh, 5 mat shots for that Hydro Cannon and 4 for the second. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, completely destroy them down with the Seed Bomb and then a Shadow Ball will land to the Talon Flame for big damage and the win. Into the next one now with the Swampert up on the lead this time. Not a bad lead but instead a very good one and we're gonna be able to go ahead, use the Seed Bomb and finish them off. However, they decide to go ahead and switch out to that Snorlax and we have not the upper hand here, we have to get out of there and the Pokemon that they decide to throw in is not gonna be Wallerin but instead I will throw my Staraptor because uh, the leak damage is resisted and even if I throw Wallerin I will have one less counter for that uh, Swampert for the end game. So let's see now what they have at the back and it is gonna be the Swampert with a return. I was not expecting that, I was expecting the last Pokemon to be honest so I'm just gonna see now the Swampert able to reach to the move after they take the close combat amazing damage there by Staraptor and we're gonna go in with the Trevenant because we know we can survive pretty much anything at this point they have the Matcham on the back things are not looking that well for them they were super weak to Trevenant especially with the Swampert and the Matcham their only answer to Trevenant was uh, Snorlax and to be honest it might be a normal type but still doesn't have a solid answer against uh, Trevenant, it still takes a lot of damage with back to back uh, seed bombs. Uh, we are seeing now another move from the Matcham, but that doesn't worry me at all because we are still there on that uh, Seed Bomb range. We can finish it off and they have the Swampert which returns to the battle. They are gonna be able to outspeed to the move. That was a bummer, but still we have a pure uh, healthy Wolverine at the back waiting to close the entire match. Into the next one now with the whole rain up on the lead, a shadow as well, like the one that we have, but ours is gonna be a rank one shadow. Do you have a rank shadow? Rank one shadow? I don't think so. Uh, a really nice flex here. Uh, if I did not have the rank one shadow, I would not even use the shadow wall rain. I could go for the regular one because it feels like like uh, uh, the regular one is uh, a little bit better to be honest. I don't know. It's up to you, but I think that the regular uh, wall rain feels a lot better than the sad one. What do you think? Write down in the comment section. I really want to see your responses here. Uh, they have a Trevenant. We have that uh, Staraptor. I'm just gonna destroy it down with my Gusts. Uh, get out of there with as much uh, energy as possible. They have the Swampert coming in. Brave Bird is gonna land for big damage and the knockout with that Gust. Amazing damage output there from my uh, Staraptor. We have to go for the Seed Bomb. They have to block and right now my wall will have the upper hand with a potential earthquake. They decide to go ahead and use their own earthquake, we can take it at this point and definitely outspeed to the move, especially with the shield up, so I'm just gonna block here, it's gonna be just an icicle spear, nobody cares, they have their last Pokemon, we have a pure uh, earthquake from the mirror match and they are below 50%. It's uh, pretty good for me, so I'm just gonna take it, a pretty solid win. And the next one now with a Lapras up on the lead, not the best lead once again, I'm counting the moves here, 
Ranger, I know that I can survive the Serp on the 4th uh, Ice Art, but the 6th Ice Art can always be something like an Ice Beam, we have to take note of that. Seeing a Shiny always makes me wonder, can that be from that raid day that we had passed uh, uh, in the past year, past two years? Uh, I don't, I'm not uh, sure about the timing of when that double legacy Lapras was on raids, but yeah. Uh, seeing the shiny always makes me think that they have ice beam so i'm just gonna take note of that and at this point i'm just gonna farm down completely that trevenant we have now the close combat ready to go right on the cmp they are gonna block for the second time their uh, lapras no reason at all to block here because after the debuff we fall down to those ice arts pretty effectively we have two shields and a healthy wall rain. they see that and they get out of the fight makes sense into the next one now and the trevenant mirror However, I do not like this at all. I always try to catch on my Astaraptor here and they always try to catch on their next Pokemon and this time it's gonna be that uh, Steelix. What a crazy outplay from both trainers, me and my opponent and we have to go now for that big damage with our close combat. This is gonna be a CMP though, which means that if we block this, we can still land one more close combat for big damage on the XL Steelix. Steelix being one of the best Pokemon that you can use for Ultra League Premier Cup. However, I do not have enough Excels to build it up, so if you have some Excels and you want to submit some content, I'm pretty excited to shoutcast some of your uh, Excel uh, Steelix battles. Steel Excel, uh, okay, that was a bad uh, joke, but anyway, Steel Excel, if you have some Steel Excel battles, feel free to send them. Any other battles, always being accepting those, so just send them, it's always good. I'm just gonna block here the Seed Bomb because it's super effective and whatever there is at the back, there is no reason at all uh, not to block that seed bomb and they see that and they get out of the fight okay we're gonna take this victory into the next one now with that uh, Steelix up on the lead looking pretty cool no we are not because Steelix can still win against the uh, Trevenant we have to block the Crunch to be honest they go for the Crunch big shield here not the Psychic Fangs and we have to go now for that seed bomb for the knockout against Steelix I will try to catch I believe no catch at all okay I don't know what I will do here a Crunch coming in okay done we go that makes a lot of sense uh, so now we're gonna go in with Waller and I think we can farm down completely because no Steelix has uh, access to Earthquake nowadays on Ultra Premier Cup they all have Psychic Fangs and Crunch too many of those uh, uh, teeth moves with a Pokemon that has no teeth at all, I don't know uh, about 4 teeth in total uh, <laughs> that makes no sense at the back there is gonna be a Trevenant and a Primarina, what are you doing trainer, what was that Trevenant coming in against my uh, Staraptor, we can completely farm down this Pokemon I'm just gonna shield up the final move because I can definitely reach to that Brave Bird and the Dream against Primarina, gaining that amazing victory with crazy damage outputs from Staraptor. Into the next one now with the Trevenant against the Trevenant once again. This time, let's try and catch effectively. I'm just gonna charge up to the 7th and, try and then try to catch on my Staraptor. With that uh, in mind, I'm pretty sure whatever comes in has to block my move. So they come in with that one and because they reached the move that early I'm pretty sure I can take it uh, they are energy dry so now my Trevenant can come in and start doing some solid work against them they have to block here at least once so we're gonna go with another seed bomb are they gonna block no they are not this is connecting for big damage and putting that wall rain on the icicle spear range we just have to over farm here up to uh, an earthquake almost because they are also getting there so I'm just gonna throw here the Icicle Spear they are gonna take it, down they go let's see what they have at the back now they come in with the Trevenant we have to answer back at them with a heavy hitting Icicle Spear which they will accept what is there at the back trainers it is gonna be the Swambert and we just have to go with back to back Icicle Spears and lock this victory they are gonna take the first one it's okay trainers we have to just uh, accept their move now now if it is gonna be a Hydro Cannon, however I blocked the, the wrong move and they have a lot of energy to spare, we have to get that shield out of the way, down it goes, they are reaching to another move, I'm calling the bait, just a Hydro Cannon, amazing call here for my Walrein and we're gonna grab this amazing victory with Walrein being the Shadow Rancon Pokemon that you need to close the match that you want for Ultra Premier Cup. Oh my freaking goodness, I remember this one. So we're having the worst possible in the scenario. 
against that Pidgeot. Uh, you can call it Karma because I have farmed down a lot of those uh, Trevenants with my Staraptor. So against Pidgeot, yeah, I am really struggling with my uh, Trevenant to be honest. So they're gonna go ahead and completely farm us down. They have a lot of energy to spare. And what I want to do here is to tank all that energy on my Wallrain and let's see what, how I can uh, adapt to the situation with my Trevenant for the end game. So let's say to go for the late switch here uh, on that Snorlax. And uh, that gives me the urge to go ahead and bring my Trevenant in right now. With that in mind, I'm pretty sure I can have the upper hand with uh, Wallrain if they do not have a hard check to Wallrain at the back. So we're gonna see now a battle against two of the worst Pokemon that you can see on Ultra League. It takes a lot of time to unfold, but still we are gonna be able to fall down to those leaks because leak damage is still super effective against our ghost typing and that Pidgeot can get really troublesome with that energy that they have. However, they have at the back a fighter and things are not looking that well for us. Wallrain really needs to get out of there and unfortunately I think we're gonna get this uh, loss since we do not have a clear answer even against the Pokemon like Scrafty. So for now trainers, you're seeing some battles that uh, are going pretty weird. To be honest, this team is a, uh, an amazing team that you can use. I really like how Staraptor is adapting to any situation. And you're seeing here an Obstagoon in the next one. We're gonna go with the close combat and I'm pretty sure they have to block. Uh, Obstagoon is a troublesome Pokemon for this line uh, because it goes pretty neutral against Staraptor and against Walrein and Tre Revenant, it does a lot of work with its moveset, especially if they carry cross up over uh, Obstruct. Uh, so we're gonna go down now to the Nidoqueen, but we took a shield out of them, and that is looking pretty well. Another Scraft at the back trainers, we have to go with the Shadow Ball, they are not gonna block it, of course, and now we have to answer back at them with a Seed Bomb. What we want to do here is to reach to another Seed Bomb, yes we can, because they are getting greedy, and now if they take this, yes they are, we have the chance to go ahead and completely farm down now with our wall rain. Let's see how they will respond to this because we know they have a Nidoqueen. All we have to do is to block the correct move, the Earth Power and we absolutely won here. They go for the Earth Power. Here is the win con, and we're gonna take this amazing victory with the Icicle Spear landing for the second time of course because the first one was blocked and we're gonna take this amazing victory. Into the final one trainers and let's see what they have for us. It is gonna be a Gerardos. So we have Trevenant, kind of a bad lead, but they get out of there. Okay, they were Shadow, and that makes me wonder, do you run Drango Breath or do you run uh, Waterfall? That was pretty weird. Uh, so we're seeing now the Lapras coming in, and because they save switch into a Lapras, I'm always like, okay, you must have Waterfall on your Gyarados. What is happening here? Uh, we're gonna go with the Seed Bomb, able to take that Shield out of them. This is looking pretty good and we can go down right after. We have the Shield Advantage, I'm pretty sure that my backline can handle that Gyarados on the end game. We're just gonna go in with our Staraptor. I'm pretty sure I can survive one, but no reason at all to risk here and I will completely farm down right after. Expect the Gyarados to return, so I'm just gonna go here for the Brave Bird immediately and that was a Waterfall Shadow Gyarados. We're gonna go in now with the Warren because we have the debuff on our Staraptor and we want to clean that debuff for sure. Here they go for the crunch, a shadow to another, especially from a shadow Gary, we have to block and answer back at them with a heavy hitting Icicle Spear. We can farm down trainers, let's see what there is at the back and we will never learn. That's all trainers, thank you for watching, thank you for staying till then, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and I hope to see you all into the next one. Take care everyone! one